More than half of U.S. school book bans traced back to just 11 hateful people. Right-wing group Moms for Liberty has been working in recent years to remove what they say are objectionable books from local libraries, but it turns out that a tiny number of them are responsible for most of the book ban requests. Analysis conducted by the Washington Post found that only 11 people were responsible for more than half of more than 1,000 different book challenges analyzed by the paper, with one person responsible for 92 challenges just by himself. 16% of all objections claimed that school books violated, violated either state obscenity laws or legislation passed in the past three years restricting education on race, racism, sexuality, and gender identity. Calling books illegal was the ninth most common reason employed by book challengers. This tactic was especially popular in Florida and Texas. Of the 153 complaints contending books were illegal, 56% were brought in Florida and 18% in Texas. These serial filers relied on a network of volunteers gathered under the aegis of conservative groups such as Moms for Liberty. A record 2,571 unique books were targeted for censorship in 2022, a 38% increase from 2021 when 1,858 titles were targeted. Hateful and more than likely illiterate, <laughs> definitely ignorant, as in the case of Enema Nozzle, Daily Salinas, a Miami Lakes broodmare unable to keep track of her monthlies, who just got Biden's inaugural poet, Amanda Gorman's poem, The Hills We Climb, banned yeah. for spurious reasons. Mm. Horrible. Yeah. So I have a little bit of good news. Courtesy of the Twitter. That's the Twitter. Moms of Liberty, also known as Clanned Karenhood, <laughs> not my joke. <laughs> great joke, it though. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems the group Anonymous took down their website. Oh, wow. Oh, good. good. All right. Good. But they're dangerous. We've been waiting and, for and them. I, for one, speaking just for myself, say to Anonymous, a grateful nation thanks you. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, this is crazy in so many ways, but one is we have technology, right? Yeah. And everyone has access to every book on the planet. You just have to grab your, you can download whatever you want, whenever you want, yeah. which is weird that they would try to ban books in the age of technology. So they're doing it for a reason, right? They're okay. trying to make a, a point. And, and then I'm thinking, you know, there's over 350 million people in this country. Why does this 11 people think that their little opinion it should like needs to be heard? Somebody's They're, giving like, them a voice. Yeah. Going, going back to like the professionalism I was talking about in healthcare, it's the same with educators. I mean, mm -hmm. these things aren't done willy nilly. They're talked about and discussed. Mm -hmm. You have to have a master's degree to be a librarian. Right. You know what I mean? This yeah. is not the lady down the street. This is right. not the person right. who's turning in the book. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. These right. people have worked really, really hard yeah. to make sure that our kids are getting access to yeah. a broad range of well, ideas that. and stuff that they're discussing these things in a safe environment mm -hmm. for one person to be so now we got to go to how did these people get on this how did it get banned who's on the school board who's like we have to really right. vote. Big problem. we have yeah. to really right. really really get more involved locally and make sure that the right people are in charge so that when something is brought up it's dealt with in a proper way, not in yeah. a ban. How are you going to ban a poem that was showed all around right. the world already? Right, right. And, and it's another, like YouTube. Everyone knows. Like, it's right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. wasn't the New York Public Library also like granting free access? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I think yeah. locally Stonewall yes. was yeah. also doing the same yeah. thing. Yeah. A lot of those banned books are now actually yeah. at Stone. Right. Good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's it's something you know we have to address. But really, when we think about what is the reasoning. When you can't it's really ban anything, yeah. right? Right, right. Again, they're putting targets on they're, people. They're mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. they're, they, I've actually heard discussions about this because for whatever re strange reason, I have a thing for talk radio. <laughs> mm, and too. they're basically <laughs> trying and please God, failing 
to hold on to any vestige That's of what white, sure. male, right. cisgender, mm. it hetero it mm. The lack of grasp of like, yes. their hold on power, and they're yeah. very scared, and they're very threatened. Yeah. I'm gonna, my, my partner always uses this as, as a phrase, and I'm going to steal it from him. And he's like, people are so unbusy. Like, I mean, how do you have the time? <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> like, you're so angry about it's something true. that's so... And I'm just like, but, but also, like, you know, conservatives often love to talk about what they refer to as the silent majority. What this, this actually only tells Tells us and it gives us some hope that it actually might be a silent minority. No, it's a minority for sure. Um, for sure. So I, it is like we need to be the majority. Hey, Jacksonville we just went blue. Right. That's right. Yeah. Jacksonville just and, went and blue. And they only went yeah. blue because Republicans voted against the Republicans right. because right. they don't want this stuff. That's right. right. That's what I mean. The reasoning for doing this in this day and time, it's very sure. Uh, okay, the l desperation, I get that. Yeah. I get that. It doesn't make sense otherwise because it can't really be done. <laughs> I mean, right. Yeah. Like the feeling the rainbows from right. the sky. You know what I mean? It's that that you mentioned kind of earlier. <laughs> That's next. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop my rainbow. <laughs> We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.